Welcome back to WordPress Made Easy. I'm your host, Dave Swift. And in the last video, we talked about the difference between pages and posts. Now, the main thing to remember is that pages don't show up in the nav bar by default, and they don't have a date associated with them. An example would be the about or the contact page. Let's create a new page. From the sidebar, I can choose page and then add new. I can add a page title and then enter my headlines, text, images, or even embed videos inside of the editor. To make the page visible on the website, I'll click Publish. Then I'm going to see a link to my page on the site. So here is what the page looks like. You can see that the content is displayed between the header and the footer like we talked about in the last video. Now this is probably not what you had in mind when you thought about building an attractive website for your business, am I right? Well, don't worry, we're just learning the fundamentals right now. So why does our page look like this? Why does the font display the way it displays? Why is the text size the way it is? How do you change the padding, the margins, or the borders? Well, the content on a WordPress page is typically controlled by what's called a theme. And you already have a WordPress theme installed, you might not have known that. Every WordPress site needs a theme, and out of the box, it includes a default one. So themes have varying degrees of customization available, and typically with free themes, we have less options than in premium themes or ones that you have to pay for. Now, more on themes to come and how to customize them in a future video. Another popular way to style a page aside from a theme is to use something called a page builder, which is an add-on, a plugin that you can install into WordPress. Page builders override the theme style and allow you to have a true what you see is what you get type experience. Some popular page builders include Divi, Thrive Architect, Beaver Builder, and Elementor. In this series, we'll be looking at Elementor as it has a very capable free version and it has over 4 million installs. So it's one of the most popular page builders of all time, probably the most popular. It's also my personal page builder of choice when I'm developing websites for clients. So in this video, you learned how to create a new page and you also learned why the page looks the way it does. We haven't styled it yet, but we know that the theme is at fault here. So in future videos, we'll look at how to get complete control over the pages. That's all for this lesson. In the next video, I'm gonna tell you all about posts. So make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.